hey Hollywood, stop the war on conservative them. Stop the war on conservative actors, conservative people who are in Hollywood, and suddenly stop the war on people who are for morals, classiness, and all in all being conservative. Especially women. And the faith in the church. Yes, this will be my first religious and faith based video. I am so sick and tired of seeing Hollywood going totally against the, the um, church and conservatism and morals. In the end, Hollywood Press, Entertainment Tonight, um, Access Hollywood, um, and now E! News is the worst of them all. Look how women are dressed on that show. And even my ma, even though his show is critically, same as Jamie Oliver and John Stewart was in the Daily Show. And that's Tonight shows. I'm so tired of being bashed, being conservative. Even though I was a blue dark Democrat, I know there was high Hollywood singers and actors who are blue dark Democrats, like Kobe Keith. That's like um, Keith Urban and Nicole Kidman both are conservative. Democrats. There's also, also a local DJ in Rochester who is a uh, Vietnam vet himself, Brother Reeves. And I hope he has his aunt, um, Chuck Jack, enemy, Howard Stern, is also a blue dog Democrat. He, even though he looks Chuck sometimes in his private part movie, turned me off. He seems like a good guy, a conservative, and like me, do not want to see children in Hollywood and have no childhood. I'm not for child actors, not child entertainment either. Kids should be kids. Also, how women are portrayed in Hollywood. I don't want to see the frost. I do not want to see the butts. I don't even want to see the men's butts or penises. Um, I'm not a fan of a moral act. And that's what Hollywood and entertainment gives us in most movies. And the entertainment news people applaud it, celebrate it, lawyerize it. And they're like, are you kidding me? Where's, where was the faith-based, conservative, and wholesome stuff which we had in the 90s, before the 90s? And even in the 90s, which the political crafts please and me are completely destroyed this woman the last few months. But you guys all knew Roseanne Barr. You know how outspoken she was. And she's... Even though she's a feminist, she's a conservative feminist, too. She's not totally for Trump, but she is for Trump. You guys have to deal with it. Valerie Jared, who, back right at you, Valerie. I am a huge fan of Roseanne, and I was a fan of her show back then, because they do serious subjects and they did this year too and they covered a lot of facts about what we should do about the modern day kind of versatile issues i bet you guys never watched the show back in the 90s or this year to understand her that's who she was and always will be 
and like she said about Bobby Jarrett, even my mom, who is not a very anti viral person, she doesn't like bad words. She doesn't like the um violence. But she also knew Roseanne's comment about Bobby Jarrett was a joke. Come on. Even the I was talking about um, Tavon um, well, death and the funeral thing about um, Taz and um, how the GoFundMe thing should not happen. I was saying the truth, which I found out I was saying the truth. Why don't you guys really go for a cheaper, simpler, and I did say simpler and smaller. For the PC crowd and the people who destroyed my career, life, and tried to terrorize me for absolutely no reason. I did say simple and small funeral. You can have a word fantastic. You don't have to go for an expensive one. You don't need to have a big celebration. His family did probably not want one. You didn't even ask them to have a fun GoFundMe raise for them. So you guys went off the rails over me for no reason. The family didn't even ask for the GoFundMe money. They probably didn't even know about it. I mean, I'm glad there's an investigation and they're holding up the money because you guys did this campaign without permission so back at your liberals and PC please for grabbing my life and wailing it through the ringer I feel um like I said about who wants to see immoral stuff and unethical things in movies we really want morals wholesome TV back. This is why Kevin Kastner's show and his other show was successful. Some Elliot shows were successful. This is why Homeland um, and Game of Thrones are so popular. They have really good based storylines. Even though Game of Thrones is more trashy sometimes, but they have morals and conservative values. Not sure if all the actors are conservative, but they should sure the have to act like it. <laughs> and, um, but really, we want wholesome back. Like Little House and Prairie, and Walton's, Dukes of Hazard, and the old shows where a lot of these people who are in the PC place are totally against and they're totally against. Hey, that's just why Trump was re-elected. We're tired of not having God back in our country. Like I said, this is a religious, faithful, um, faith-based video. Because, um, we don't barely have anything like the old westerns. Thank God, a few people are bringing it back. And thank you, Encore and TMC for having classic movies and westerns. Well, we don't mind seeing the conservative, more based shows, Hallmark and um, Up. Absolutely love these channels and um, Buzzer bringing back all game shows, malls game shows where um, family feud was where women were not strong and brave that be accepted which Richard Dawson's kisses. Nothing wrong with kissing in the cheek and that's back then. But now the women are just so afraid they would have really bad um, reactions to it. That's why we have a Me Too movement, which they have no idea what sexual assault is. Um, the reason why I say that, I was raped. 
I was sexually abused when I was a kid. And that was sexual abuse. Not sexual harassment. Well, he's what I'm saying now. And, um, the way the women are dressed, they're asking for it. Sorry, ladies, but that's the way it is. Um, and of course, Kim Kardashian, the biggest signal of them all, not got to marry in Chris Humphreys and totally behind Chris Humphreys for divorcing her because she is a slut. Doing yoga naked? Really? And then there's movies. We have no really moral ethical based movies or faith based movies. Thank God for um we still have Star Wars. But now thank God for um people who are brave enough like cup um put common and um common silbo and a few logical and conservative moral people like Vince Vaughn and um, Mel Gibson and um, Dan Soja, um, also Dave Bray, who's a musician who is a patriot, a freedom loving patriot who is moral and faith based, and the way his bandmates betrayed him. Wow. He's been married have kids, why would he quote your women? He had no reason. And why would Bucky stand by him if he did? Bad, bad, bad Hollywood. You have no moral base and no ethical base entertainment class. This is why we're walking away from you and your political um, messages. God bless Trump.